Hey Virgo, welcome back to your love reading. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Here to do the rest of January 2023 love reading for Virgo. Virgo, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. And as always, some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what fits, leave the rest. Also, there's a link in the description box for a personal reading. If you want to book a personal reading with me. Okay, um, so today we're going to do for you, Virgo, the Celtic cross, Okay. Um, I want to ask specific questions for you, and uh, please do make sure you smash that like and subscribe button. I greatly appreciate that. Um, and all the links for everything else you need to follow me on social media, all the links, everything is below there. Okay. All right. So let's take a look at your past, the past position, where you are coming from, the recent past, where you are coming from, Virgo. All right, coming from a good place, definitely. Um, strong, solid foundation. Ten of Pentacles, it looks like in the past, you or in the recent past, you've reached some type of milestone in your life. Um, whether that's in work, career, um, your health, or love. It looks like you've left some type of a legacy. Maybe you have grandchildren, um, or you have um, retirement. You've recently retired. For others, this is like you've received an inheritance, perhaps, and um, for others, you might have, you know, ended a, a, like a job, finished out a, a, a completion of a particular job or uh, that kind of situation, and, and now you're trying to, you know, go into something different, perhaps. The 10 is always completion for me. So some of you might have ended a marriage or a long-term relationship in the recent past, um, and you've also, you've reached a place in your life where you're like the matriarch or patriarch of your family, maybe, or you are, um, you know, there's just like a lot of like, okay, you've, you've reached some kind of milestone. Recently, you might have had an anniversary for something that you celebrated. Let me see what else they can tell you about your past. Okay. Um, yeah, it looks like past type of recent past like you were locked in you were locked in in the past there was a lot of restrictions you couldn't move um I, i'm picking up like very routine energy but i also feel like um like material i feel like maybe your work or your career there was just this like gotta be in power gotta be the authority on things gotta be organized but also you know, just a feeling of like felt isolated in something. And recently, you maybe you've graduated from something, okay? Whether it's a relationship, a career, could have been school, uh, anything like that. Uh, you were locked in for a long time, maybe eight years, some of you. Okay, <clears throat> so it looks like that came to an end uh, recently. And it looks like you have just reached probably as far as you thought you could go with something in particular or someone in particular, okay? A lot of you could have been in a long-term relationship with someone that had you really on edge as well. That Eight of Swords energy, really like feeling isolated in a relationship of any kind, uh, felt imprisoned and just very restricted. And it looks like with that 10, that's the finale. That's like done. All right, let's take a look and see what your current energy is, uh, your situation right now, Virgo. Okay, well, there's a little bit of struggle here, a little uncertainty right now. So there's definitely change. Uh, you're in this period of realignment, um, gaining your freedom back, perhaps maybe thinking about traveling. Um, but there's definitely uncertainty and a feeling of maybe some financial struggles. Um, if you've gained an inheritance, I don't know, you might have had to pay a lot of tax on that. But in as far as matters of the heart go, I feel like you're like standing there right now on your own. Okay, um, it's kind of cold out there. It feels kind of cold out there, Virgo, with that Five of Pentacles. There's this strong like worry um, still feeling a sense, maybe a residual isolation or a sense of like being left out in the cold um, and just kind of like trying to get into the warmth, okay? You might have got, let, somebody might have like abandoned you or you abandoned. So I just feel this sense of you being out here by yourself right now and doing everything you can to make ends meet. <clears throat> so the, that's the current situation. What is the block? 
Oh, page of wands. Um, <laughs> there might be this, should you or should you not reach out to somebody? Should you or should you not um, like initiate or try to get more active or um, start a new project or try to get into a new relationship with someone? Should you or should you not text someone or reach out or call? Hmm. Yeah, Virgo, there's a lot of uncertainty surrounding that, you know? Should I talk to them? Should I, should I reach back out again? There's like a lot of uncertainty in regards to that. Maybe because you feel left out in the cold, maybe there's abandonment, anxiety, and a feeling of like needing to either reach out to someone that a relationship ended or that things didn't work out or um, start over. Should you initiate? Should you say something? Okay. Should you, I feel like, activate your love life? Should you, you know, take action? Uh, because that page of wands is like a warmth, you know, that feels like, like um, fiery text, fiery communication, you know, um, it's like, there's this feeling of like being out in the cold and there's snow and you don't have a lighter to light a, light a, a fire or get the, you know, the Twix, the Twix, the, the sticks lit, you know what I mean? Like to start a fire in your heart and like calling on someone to help you, I feel. And that obviously that's just a metaphor. I mean, I feel like you are like kind of feeling a little cold and you want to talk to someone or you want to reach out to someone and have uh, some kind of, you know, passionate, fiery, fun communication. Okay, so currently, but that's a, in the position of the block. So currently I feel like you're like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I should do here. All right, let's take a look right now. What's the root of the problem that you're dealing with in your life right now? Like, where is it coming from? Okay, the chariot. So there could be a long distance relationship <clears throat> at this time where um, the root of the problem is that it's long distance. Um, and also making progress. The root of the problem is that is this going to progress or not? Some type of connection with someone. How far is it going to go? That's cancer energy there. How far can this actually go? Um, the root of the problem is that action and change needs to be taken. And a journey needs to be had. Okay? Um, somebody needs to take a trip here. And I feel like it's you. You need to like, you know, get on that plane or get on that horse or two horses or get in that car and go see somebody okay so let me see what else can they tell you here okay yeah the four of wands you need to go to somebody's house or go see someone at their home or where someone lives to connect with this person um not them come to you it looks like you have to go to them <clears throat> i don't know if it's long distance virgo i feel like there's a lot of uncertainty about somebody <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm so sorry. I feel like there's a lot of uncertainty. There's not enough information. There's um there's a need to like form a structure or foundation for a relationship. Yeah, uh I, I'm not so sure if that's something I mean, I don't know whether it's something that you need to do or not, but I feel like you need to go sniffing around somebody's neighborhood and get some information. Um, there's also something here about somebody doesn't want to go home, I'm hearing. Somebody doesn't want to return home. Somebody uh, does not want to have a reunion. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean it's another person. I feel like this is you. Yeah, th there's two messages. It's like, or doesn't want family involved in um, a particular situation or a relationship. I feel like, Virgo, you want to go out on your own and take care of business. But I feel like you need to seek out the support as well um, in whatever this endeavor or this relationship connection that you are... I don't, it just feels like something might have ended and you're standing out there like feeling cold and feeling lost 
and wanting to reach out but not sure i feel like this is more along the lines of like you need to go somewhere you need to go to that person's home all right that's a very interesting message there let me see what the possibilities are here for this connection what are the possible uh, okay so the ten of cups you know virgo um in regards to this connection here I mean, this is like a happily ever after, but I feel like you have to take some action. Hmm. Yeah, Ten of Cups. Um, the pause, the, like, I don't know how to explain this. I mean, it's like, it's right there, but it feels like you have to go find something out for yourself here, Virgo. You have to be the one to make this move. Okay, let me see. The possibilities are marriage, long-term happiness, joy, uh, total love and support, you know, um, just all of those cups, like all that emotion, celebration, feeling fulfilled, um, just wishes coming true. Yeah, you have to go find, you have to go see something you have to go do. Okay, let me see what direction you're headed in the near future. Okay. Well, of course, Virgo, you're going to weigh the pros and cons. Yeah, definitely. Um, you're going to weigh your options here before you make any moves. I see that. I don't feel like you're the kind of person who's just going <laughs> to... I don't see you taking a risk. I mean, there are some Virgos who will do that, but I don't see you taking a risk. I feel like you're going to weigh the, the pros and the cons this situation before you make a move going forward here yeah and you're keeping that to yourself and it, it almost feels like an advice but it, it feels like whatever this relationship whatever this connection struggle issue problem or just it's a love thing that has so much potential to go forward but it feels like you have to be the one it's like it feels like the ball's in your court now okay that's how it feels and it looks like you want to be sure before you swing the bat <laughs> or, you know, swing the tennis racket. You want to be sure before you serve that this is a game that you want to get involved with or, or um, a match that you want to be involved with. Okay, so you're going to like kind of pull it back. That's the direction you're heading and really kind of weigh it out in a lot of ways. Like I feel like you have two options here. It's either should I go or should I stay or should I go? What should I do? Right. Yeah. Okay. And you're holding tight, this tight to your heart going forward in January about this decision that you need to make. Twos are always about decisions. Okay. It's all about duality, partnership, choices, the opposition, reflecting on what your options are and diversity. And of course the four here represents like realization. Is this going to be stable? Is this going to be something that will work out for me? I don't know, Virgo. I don't know. We'll see how things go. But I feel like for you, you got to make a move here because you're never going to know unless you, you know, step up to the plate and swing. <sighs> me and my sports analogies. So let me take a look. How are you viewing yourself in January, Virgo? How are you viewing yourself in relation to this whole situation oh my gosh you got the shadow side that's devil energy i mean some of you might be like so tempted to just take a risk or take off and just go do something here but i feel like you're viewing yourself as i'm too obsessed with this situation i need to let this go um that's capricorn energy there some of you are like i'm t like uh, you're feeling like <laughs> i don't know virgo you are, all right, I'm just going to give it to you straight. Some of you have like this strong lust for somebody here. And um, you're questioning, like, I feel like you're looking at yourself like, I am so obsessed with this person. That, like saying to yourself, um, and this, like, maybe I'm the toxic one. Virgo, are you asking yourself? I mean, are you doubting yourself? Are you, did you play a role in something I don't know what the situation exactly, maybe it was related to yesterday's reading, but some of you are like questioning, maybe I'm the narc or maybe I'm the one who's like, I can't get rid of this pull. What is wrong with me? I'm addicted. Okay. That's a, that's a whole heap of shit right there. Let me see. How else are you viewing yourself? Hmm. 
Hmm, you have a lot of plans and ideas and I, you know, I feel like you feel here that this is something that you absolutely cannot let go of some kind of idea here to finish something out, finish what you store, start or get some more information about a relationship or a person. Absolutely. Are you going to go to where someone is to find out more information or to get the full picture? Yeah. Well, I want to see what action will you take because I know you're getting to a place where you are weighing your options here. What action will Virgo take? Yeah. Virgo's like seven of pentacles. <laughs> Just still contemplating. Virgo, you're going to think this to death, aren't you? Yes, you are. You're going to think this to death until like when, and then miss the opportunity if it's an opportunity for you otherwise i see you like what action no action you know um yeah I, I don't see you taking any action i think i think it's like really dawning on you or something's hitting you and it like coming to your mind about what you need to do but yeah you don't want to make any wrong moves here virgo heading towards someone or um, making a decision to take action towards another person let me take a look and see the other person what is the energy for the other person okay so queen of wands um male or masculine or feminine energy so queen of wands is basically like you know someone who's very bold and courageous uh sagittarius aries leo hmm. okay so this person sits in a position of confidence um, feeling very self-assured, um, powerful, charming, courageous type of person. Wow, could be a Leo. There's the sun. Very positive. This person is, is like at least towards you as well. They feel like you are a bright light, like a shining light. They might live in a warm area. They might have, um, it could be a mother who has a young son. For others, it could be um, a father who has a young son. But I feel like this person is the very positive outlook towards you, for sure. I mean, okay. But they think you stress too much. They think you worry too much. This person thinks, and it doesn't have to be a fire sign, just so you know. This person just thinks that you, like, you're high anxiety all the time. Like, you might have um, a general anxiety disorder. Or you just... You worry about everything. You um, you get nervous or you worry about things that you're like, things, I don't know if you, you worry about the little things and then they, they snowball into these mountains. And this is how this person views you. You know, overall, they see that you're very sunshiny and upbeat and they see that you're very successful and they see that you, um, you're generally, your disposition is generally joyous, but they, they concern like by day, you you know, you're out and about and you're happy-go-lucky. But then at night, um, I, they think that you, you stress a lot at night. I mean, Virgo, this person wants to connect with you. Definitely. They want to have that connection with you. But something, I don't know if like in the past, in a relationship in the past, um, a long-term relationship made you makes you feel very restricted are suffocated and then when that's over then you're like no but wait you want to be with someone like so I don't know I feel like you're going through some stuff here trying to get into, or come to terms with yourself it's like if the person if you're not with someone then you want to be with someone but if then if they're if you're with them and then there's too much time with them, then you want to be away from them. <laughs> so you're kind of, and that really feels like this two of pentacles. It's, it's kind of like, okay, one minute you're up, one minute you're down. And I do feel like you're kind of like trying to balance your, um, your emotions definitely. And just kind of ride the wave a little bit here. But Virgo, I feel like this person, I mean, there is a, there's a spark definitely, or they want to make a spark, have a spark with you sit down and have like, you know, drinks, they want to hold your hand, they want to look you in the eyes, um, they want to be with you, feel your presence. You know, I feel like if you're trying to make a decision to go towards someone, if, if they've asked you to come to them, Virgo, I feel like they really mean it. 
I feel like they really want you to come, okay? Um, they don't want you to stress. They want you to be that bold, positive, um, joyous person. And maybe, you know, take something to help you sleep so you don't stress. Um, or whatever. Whatever you need to do. Or practice some meditation or some breathing exercises so you don't stress. I just feel, Virgo, with that Two of Cups, that whoever this other person is, they truly have romantic feelings for you. Um, they see themselves in a love relationship, partnership with you. I mean, there's even the potential for a proposal of marriage. Yeah, so I don't, I don't know, Virgo. I don't feel, I feel like it's kind of, like, I don't feel like there's anything wrong with you. I just feel like you're, maybe you've had some toxic stuff in your life that's happened or there was a relationship that was a little bit toxic or this situation. I'm not sure, but you've been triggered. And it's like you... <clears throat> You um, you really want something. There's a huge possibility with the Ten of Cups with this person. Okay. So, yeah, you got to just go and see, I think. You got to go and find out. All right. Hopes and fears. What are your hopes, Virgo? What are your hopes? Okay. Yeah, of course. Who wouldn't want that? Six of Wands. So, you definitely hope that you, you will have the... You will be in a... I want to say... I hate to use the word victory because it's just so tarot, but I mean, I feel like you you really just hope that you will you will get good news that things will work out here for you, you know, with someone. Um, I feel like you're seeking recognition, not validation, but you're seeking recognition from someone. Um, and I feel like you hope that this person can see you the way you see them which is a very strange message um, because I feel like you might see this person as being someone who is, you know, in a victory position. They have um, a lot of uh, support. They have a lot of people around them that just kind of like cheer them on all the time. And I feel like you, um, you hope, there's a part of you that hopes that they will um, pay attention to you. They will see you. Yeah, I don't know if this person has a tremendous amount of people around them. I, I feel like you don't want to just be um, another person in the crowd that loves them. I feel like you want to be the only one. You want to be the one that they recognize. And I feel like that's something that you're hoping for. Um, I don't know. This is the weirdest, most strangest message that I think I have gotten so far in the time that I've done tarot, I've gotten some weird messages here, Virgo, but I don't know. Let, let me see what your fears are, Virgo. Okay. You're fearing yourself. You're fearing that you won't be able to emotionally connect with this person, you know, or you fear that this person also will only, um, want you for your money or for material things, okay? Or um, look at you like an object. But Virgo, is, it might be more that you might be viewing yourself that way. I feel like you might be viewing yourself as um, not worthy of anything more than just being an object to another person or this person, right? Um, I don't know who this is that you have had this connection with or that you will have this connection with going forward or this could be someone you're currently connecting with right now. And I know this, this sounds really specific, so I'm not sure this is gonna be for every person. So please leave me a comment and let me know if this resonates for you, Virgo. But I feel like mostly you're fearing yourself, okay? why I have to ask oh Virgo <clears throat> you're fearing okay you're fearing showing this person or this person finding out that either you really miss them or that you feel heartbroken or that you have um, like a negative emotions. I feel like Virgo, you don't want to, or, or just in general, show that to people. And I'm not really sure why, but I feel like you want to just try to keep it all together. Virgo's like to be in control 
and I feel like you don't want anyone to know that you've had sadness you don't want this person to know that deep inside you're hurting and you want to impress this person or show them that you um, are over it but Virgo then you're not being transparent I mean you don't have to like you know go into hysterics all over somebody you know um but it's okay if you want to show a little sadness or you know that vulnerable transparent side of you i feel like that's what would make the relationship very successful because there's this like teardrop that somebody needs to see that you have like drop a teardrop here and there <laughs> or you know just to have a conversation with someone i feel like you fear letting your emotions out your 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 sad emotions your grief right now your happy emotions your grief because then that might overwhelm you and i feel like Virgo, you don't want to feel overwhelmed by your emotions so you do have a tendency probably to keep it all together um i mean you know it's a virgo thing i get it um where this energy is heading the total outcome where the energy is heading all right so the magician i mean virgo there's a huge opportunity. I feel like Virgo, the need to tell you, you've already made a fool of yourself. So <laughs> let it go. You, I mean, you might even be saying, kicking yourself in some regards, saying I made a fool of myself with something. You might be saying that to yourself. Look, it's done. Okay, it's over with. It's done. You made a fool of yourself. You you showed a side of yourself or, you know, whatever it was, whatever your, your you know, your I don't say like this, I don't like to say flaws, but you know everybody has their strengths and everybody has their weaknesses. Somewhere along the line, you showed some weakness, and okay, because the full card comes before the magician. So somewhere along the line, you took a chance or you took a risk, and maybe something didn't work out, or you you felt like oh. Ugh, why did I do that? You know, but look where things are heading. You know, after the fools, now we can actually focus because we got the hard part out of the way. We we had the hard part out of the way, okay? And what is the hard part? The hard part is like tripping and stumbling and, you know, getting that pride and that ego out of the way, okay? So you have a new start here. That's what the magician is. Now, the outcome is an opportunity will arrive for both people to lay all their cards on the table and try to make some magic here together. Okay, you've got the Queen of Cups. So that's you really getting into your emotions, okay? Um, and, and really feeling the energy. It's, it's, your, it's the vibes that's going to give you an opportunity to manifest a healthy start to a relationship, right? Queen of Cups, if it's not you, it could be um, uh, uh, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer, okay? Male or female. Um, somebody who's waiting for you to put all those teardrops in that cup so that they can drink from it or look at it and just, or smell it and just be that close to you. I mean, it's very beautiful. Okay, the Queen of Cups, the cup energy is all about the emotions, right? This person wants to heal with you. They want to be able to support and nurture this relationship at Virgo, right there's clarity truth and victory coming that's the outcome this is where the energy heads once you make a decision to you know the ball's in your court once you make a decision to serve to make that swing you know to throw the ball it's up to you and usually you know the readings are you know generally about what the other person needs to do but i feel like for someone here this is about you Look, there's the fool. See, you made a fool of yourself at some point, and here you are like, uh, uh, no, 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 I don't even want to think about it. I don't want that person to know. I don't want them to see. I'm blocking that. Let's forget it. It never happened, but it did happen. And I think once you acknowledge and accept something from your past, either in this relationship or in the past, that's when you'll be able to overcome it. You know, Virgo, and I mean, like I said, the message seems to be tonight about you more so i mean yeah this person's on the receiving end and is willing to receive you but it feels like you have to be the one to like i don't know initiate something or or make the move okay whether that's you know a long distance thing or travel or whether that's just initiating a new beginning with the chariot energy uh, this initiating a new journey with someone initiating action and change okay let me see I want to get a couple of um 
Island time. Okay, mask. Not showing true feelings. Virgo, this is you. This is not, listen, Virgo, this is not cut you up Monday. It's not. I feel like this is kind of one of those, well, let's let's take let's take a cold hard look at ourselves here. Not showing true feelings, hiding. Um putting on a mask, pretending, deluding yourself, gaslighting yourself. You know, the, the, the biggest enemy is not another person, it's it's ourselves. Because we will run from ourselves. Remember I was saying about you, you know, you already did, you already did what you did. Um, the mask can't hide it. <clears throat> Excuse me. The mask can't hide it. You know, don't gaslight yourself here, Virgo. There's no need to um, hide your true feelings. If your true feelings, whatever your true feelings are, like, don't suppress. Get them out. And I know it's easy to say. I know that it's easy to say. And uh, I understand if there's like grief or um, sadness or something like that. I, I get it. Like who wants to bring all that back up and then have that flow out of you? And then everybody, we all want to have happy days, right? But I don't know. There's some kind of message here about you needing to take the mask off with a particular person and not hide from a particular person anymore. Okay, you have not today, not dealing, hurt. See, this is what's going on with you. Okay, fine, Virgo. You don't have to do it today. Do it tomorrow. Do it next week. Whenever the time calls, you might be angry at somebody. Um, you might not want to talk to someone. You might be avoiding a conversation or avoiding somebody at this time because they were wearing a mask and they could have been wearing a mask because you were wearing, maybe you were both were, but you'll be ready when you're ready. Okay, this, like I said, this reading is for all of January and it can go further, you know, um, just because you're hearing House of Virgo say it, just because you're hearing this reading right now. I mean, maybe you and, and not maybe, but I did see you're going to take time to contemplate what you need to do. I feel like you'll click off this video and be like, nope, I'm not calling this person today. Nope, not doing it today. Might not do it tomorrow. Might not do it next week. Might not do it at all, but that's your prerogative, right? Okay. Huh. All right, the golden mirror, self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. So for some of you, okay, now listen. <laughs> uh, I'm going to give some of you a little um, kudos because some of you know, listen, if you are connecting, if this person or this self-absorbed person, if you suspect that this person is, it's like one-sided and they're self-absorbed and, you know, they're, they, I don't know if they're on the spectrum of narcissism, but um, whatever it is, <laughs> I'm definitely not telling you to um, go ahead and initiate a relationship with that person. No effing way. But you need to get clarity on this first. Okay, you cannot really get clarity on someone having a mental like cluster B personality disorder. Only a, um, I can never think of words. Uh, I see them. Only a clinician, <clears throat> only a clinician or a doctor of psychology or, you know, a psychiatrist can, can do that, you know, um, it's not about the other person. It's about you. And so if, you know, if there was something in a relationship where, you know, whether, if you know that this person was diagnosed MPD, then, okay, then you got your answer and you just need to keep it moving. But if you don't know for sure, and you just see that this person is, maybe they're just self-absorbed or it's just one-sided, you still, you still don't need to be initiating. That person needs to initiate you may need to get clarity during this month before you do anything. And that includes walking away and not staying and never going back. And it also includes, well, maybe this person's not a narc. There's a little bit of confusion. And I feel like a lot of it has to do with a mask that somebody's worn or wears. And for some of you, <clears throat> Remember I said in the very beginning, some of you are asking yourselves, am I the narcissist? Is it me? Is there something? So there might be a little bit of something here that you need to explore within self. Okay. Um, I'm certainly not telling you that you are, and I'm not saying your person is either, 
but maybe focusing on you and sorting things out with yourself right now before making any decisions, um, you don't have enough information. And I feel like that's why that, that not today card is, is standing here. You're hesitant. I saw that. You're hesitant to initiate or move something forward or go find out for yourself. Maybe because you don't want to know that it's true. Or maybe you don't want to find out that it's not true and you made a mistake and you screwed up like with the fool. And now you got to accept that and either try again or move on. Yeah. Heavy duty. This got really heavy duty. All right. I'm just going to keep pulling it. The, the Grim Reaper. Um, the relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. Virgo, this is you today. There's no way I'm... There's no way I am not, Kelly, I am not initiating anything. I am not going anywhere. I don't care how much this person loves me. I'm not doing it. This person is a narcissist. This person is a self, self-absorbed, um, love bomber. And yeah, some of you have been keeping your mask on, um, because it's protection. Okay. Because it's been protection for you. And then you have the love call. I, I, and I do feel like someone's going to reach out here and express their love to you or just tell you they were, they've were they been thinking of you and letting you know, you know. Oh, Virgo. Oops. You have so much going on in this reading. And, of course, you know, I'm going to have to get rid of these cards, I swear, because, I mean, listen, all right, let me just ask. I just have to ask. If this person is... A narcissist of, of whatever caliber they might be it's just a self-absorbed and, and it's over and it's done and you walked away and now you're kind of like well where are they where are they not whatever whatever they are I want to see because I saw with this person that they uh, actually you know what you guys I'm gonna go into the extended reading with that yeah because I saw with this person like they really want to connect with you and um, no, I'm not going to go into the extended. I'll do it here. Screw it. They really want to connect with you. And I do feel like, uh, you know, I didn't see anything on their side that was showing me that this person was self-absorbed. They might, you know, the, the queen or the king of wands can sometimes have um, maybe a little bit of bullying going on with them. They might have like a high ego. I feel like that might be the extent of it, This whoever your person is. But please... I'm not trying to contradict. If you already know that your person is NPD, cluster B, um, I'm not telling you that they're not. You stick with what you know to be true, okay? But I want to see what this person's energy is towards you as far as, like, if you don't come back, like, what's going on with this person right now? Okay, so, hmm, this reading's going to be tough. I'm telling you right now. This person feels like you cut them the F off, and they feel like you are, they feel like they've been in an abusive relationship with you. Okay. <sighs> okay. Well, all right. Whatever. If anything, this person feels like things are just really uncertain. There's been a huge change. They feel like you've been a little bit inconsistent. Um, but they definitely want to realign with you. But why? Why does this, I mean, I do feel like this person, oh, there you go. It showed up again. Two of Cups. It's like there's some kind of relationship that never got off the ground. Virgo, did you get in a relationship with someone and project because you were on or in a re abusive relationships in your past? Virgo, if you're sitting here right now listening to this reading, and, and I'm only talking to those of you who are confused, um, you need to seek some type of clarity through some type of therapeutic intervention to get answers if you're confused if you are not confused and you know that this is this person is like a cluster b um then it's most likely that this person just wants to reconnect with you again to keep it at the two and never go any further and keep abusing you and if you're aware it's like no 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 right you might be struggling um because the thing about people like that is they do have a way to shame shift and blame shift and make you feel like it's all your fault. And then they play like the innocent. And you might be struggling with that, Virgo, where it's like, but wait a minute, wait, did that person like backhanded compliment me? Did that person, um, are they giving me the silent truth? Did I deserve it? Virgo, if you're in this situation, I don't like these readings to get so deep like that, but you should really, 
and I will give you advice here. You should really seek some type of help for that because if, if, if you're doubting yourself, then, I mean, you got some kind of infection or poison and you did have the devil card. Okay, you did have the devil card. So that is some type of, like, you might be viewing yourself as you've got, like, this toxic virus from somebody, and you need to get out of that. Like, you need to heal that, or you need to, like, I don't know. you got to get more information. You're lacking a bit of information here with this person. For others of you, I feel like this person is not on the spectrum of NPD, cluster B, personality disorder. They're just self-centered. They have like, uh, like there's an entitlement thing going on with them. And I feel like this person, you know, blames a bit. And um, they, they definitely feel there was a connection made with you. And they feel like you cut them off or that the way you did it was very abusive and harsh. Okay. And yet this person still wants that Ace of Wands new beginning with you. I mean, that's just it that that is just it even if this person is NPD they still want a new beginning with you this person like you are I'm just hearing the first time that you connected with this person they always remember this did you connect over dinner or drinks did you hold hands or was there like something about holding hands or maybe not holding hands and they wanted to <clears throat> okay I mean, they're on the fence about you right now, Virgo. They don't know if you're going to come to them. Um, they don't know if you you might have blocked them. It still feels to me, though, I mean, this person is going to break through those blocks, definitely. They're going to find a way to contact you. Like I said, there was a love call. I mean, this person is definitely in the Eight of Swords energy right now. Like, they're coming out of this position of, like, they feel lost. They feel isolated. They don't want to be away from you. Okay. Definitely. All right. Gemini, Aquarius, um, Libra. This person wants to talk. They want to give clarity. They want to give the truth. And they want you to come so they can talk to you. They want to sit down and listen and tell you. Well, they want they want you to sit down and listen to them because they're coming across as the Queen of Wands. They want to talk, or the Queen of Swords. They want to talk to you and bring you that truth. Okay? Bring you their truth. Like, complete and total honesty. Oh, there's King of Wands again. Okay. Wait, again? No, we had the Queen of Wands. Okay. And they want to have a conversation. Definitely. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They want you to listen, or they're going to sit and listen to you while you talk. Yeah, absolutely. They want to communicate with you. and Sort some stuff out. Get some clarity. Um, like, why were you juggling? Why were you, like, couldn't make up your mind? Um, or they want to tell you why they were stagnant and uh, stuck and why they were in between, in betwixt and between about you. Um, definitely a strong, powerful conversation. Okay, yeah. So I feel like this person's energy is like, either they want to come to you or they want you to come to them. They're waiting, definitely. I mean, th this person wants to talk. Now, if you don't want to talk with them, that's fine. Don't say anything. Just, you know, you're done. But I do feel, look, this, like, Leo energy here, this person just feels very, very positive about you. It's almost like they want a long-term committed relationship with you. Definitely they want a reunion. And to bring it all the way to the 10, you know, and leave a legacy together. This person might be someone who's already left a legacy in their life. Wow, Virgo, I feel like this person just feels like you were like their wish come true, even though I heard them say, even though you're a pain in the ass. <laughs> and Virgo, you say it too about them. Yeah, as soon as that opportunity, you know, oh gosh, I just, the, key, the same cards just keep coming out. They want you to come. I feel like this person, if they could, if, if you would let them, they would even uh, pay for you to go to them. Uh, there's just so much confusion on your part about what you want to do about, you know, how to, like, is this real or is this something that can work? Is this person just selfish? Like, I don't know where the, all this is coming from. And like I said, some of you could just be 
triggered very heavily from a past relationship and others of you have been triggered by this person and it's like what the heck happened who is this person what is the energy what is going on some of you might just like you're trying to figure out whether should you stay or should you go whether you should completely be done with this or if you're doubting yourself or if you're making a mistake or if you know for sure you know if you know for sure that this person and i'm talking about there's like an actual piece of paper that has a diagnosis that this person has showed you and said, look, this is my diagnosis. This is what I have. And you can confirm it. Otherwise, you might not have a confirmation. You might not ever get one. So you're going to have to try to, I feel like some of you are trying to get one. Some of you, What a complicated, relationships are so complex, aren't they? Let me see what your love message is here. True love. This is the romance of the lifetime and healing family issues. Virgo, I feel like a lot of your personal trauma came from your family of origin, your parents. I do. And maybe you were an only child. Um, maybe there was a loss of a child. Or maybe you were just tremendously adored by your, both of your parents. Um, too much that they were smothering. Or maybe you uh, were not adored enough and there was another, maybe you were the black sheep and there was an, another fe uh, sibling. Yeah, that was crazy adored over you. I mean, whatever the situation, there's issues with the parents that I feel like, like, I can't help you with that. I feel like that's something that you're gonna have to like further your healing in with some type of um, therapeutic help. Yeah, but you know, as far as true love, I feel like you do feel like this person was your true love, um, regardless of their selfishness, okay? Getting to know each other. I still feel like this is a situation or a relationship where there's a lot more to be discovered yeah, that's why I was feeling like you needed to go somewhere. You need to go and you need to see something because you don't have enough information. All right, I'm putting this away. Let me see. What are the Chinese signs, Virgo? Chinese signs for Virgo. Okay. Year of the dragon, year of the tiger, year of the snake, year of the rabbit, year of the monkey, Tiger again. Year of the rat. Snake again. Rabbit again. <sighs> All these rabbits. Matt monkey again. I feel like it could be the same thing. Okay, rooster. Dragon again. And year of the pig. Okay, so that's either your Chinese sign or it's this person's. Or it's both of you or none of you. Okay. Messages of love. There go. This is like some kind of reading. I don't even know what to say. I, uh, I really feel like you need to initiate and get, like you got to find something out here. And I'm not talking to you there in the chat or there in the comments who is saying i don't need to initiate anything i'm done it's not for you this is remember listen i love y'all but not every reading is for you you got to remember that and you can't take it personally okay don't personify it right there you know how many people are watching this video so somebody here that you don't even know of who's watched this either before you or will watch it later is like oh damn yeah that's about me right it, if it's not for you take what fits leave the rest if none of it fits then just say hey great entertainment uh for 45 minutes you know what i mean but you have to like you can't get yourself in a position where it's like none of this matters i am because i'm not telling you what to do okay except i'm telling you what the messages are saying okay financial challenges are affecting this connection a lot of the reason this relationship has struggled or has had problems was because of a financial issue. Somebody was suppressing another person's money or income. That's the message I'm getting. Okay. Support. Lean on your inner circle during this time, Virgo. So that's what I was saying. You know, you need to, um, it looks like the message here is you need to seek 
some type of therapeutic help, either from your inner circle or um, someone that can help you sort some stuff out. And you also have Leap of Faith. It's safe to make the move you're considering. So whatever move that you have going on in your head right now, um, it, you can do it. It's okay. And acceptance. Everything happens for a reason. I love that card. I love that card. There's a true love again, card again. Wow. Okay. And forgiveness. Wow. Forgive yourself and another or another will help you move forward. Okay. Virgo, you know what? How much time do we have here? Hold on, you guys. Let me see if I have enough time. Okay. I'm just going to pull a couple of charms because I don't want the reading to go on for too, too long. You know what? All right. I just said... I'm going to use my new deck here, the Physical Features Oracle, because I feel like some of you need some clarification if this is your reading, okay? Now, this is either going to be you or it's going to be your person. Okay, let me see. Okay, somebody is very slender, very slender. Okay, somebody has wavy hair. Someone has brown eyes. There's someone here who is plus size. Oh, somebody wears a man bun. Okay, and someone has a mole right above their lip there, or above their mouth. Okay. All right, someone has medium length hair. Okay, and someone is tremendously muscular, very muscular, just has a muscular build. Hope you guys can see that. I can't line up the thing from where I'm sitting. Okay, we've got someone here with a mohawk. And we also have someone that has brown hair. We also have someone that has short hair. Okay, I'm gonna pick three more. We have someone who is bald. We have someone with blue eyes. Okay. And we have someone with very straight hair. Okay. So that's either you or your person. That should narrow it down a little bit for you. And um, let's get a charm before we close out your reading. Don't forget, you guys, hit that like, share, and subscribe button. You can also follow me on Facebook. The link is below in the description box. So follow me there. I'm very active on Facebook. I haven't been over the years. Um, but I decided um, to do it now. Okay, so they're just saying keep the star. All right, somebody might have a star tattoo somewhere or is thinking about getting one or just got one or removed one. <clears throat> I'm also picking up Aquarius energy and I'm also picking up there could be somebody who's in the spotlight as well. Um, Hold on a second. Oh, they just said stardom. Stardom. But uh, I feel like this is also a message of faith, having faith, and also a message of a miracle coming to you. There's some kind of miracle coming to you. Like, I don't know exactly what this is, but... I feel like the miracle is like right there waiting for the right time to appear. And, you know, miracles are kind of like, well, not kind of like, they're just very unbelievable. Um, I feel like part of the miracle you're going to get is some inner clarity. And this might be something that you really, really, really need because I feel like there's this energy of um, needing to take all of the advice and all the information that you receive before you make a final decision <clears throat> to either renew yourself and start over on your own or to try to initiate renew a relationship here but I don't know what this miracle for some this is a miracle of healing um, in a relationship as well okay so I'm just gonna leave your reading there I hope you guys enjoy that I cannot talk I don't know what's going on like I don't know if I'm losing my voice or what's happening but um yeah I will see you all back here tomorrow for your 
I'm going to try doing the Celtic cross for a little while, you guys, okay? So have a great night, and I will catch you all later on. All right, love you. Bye.